Hey, Per Stop Facebook fans and YouTube uh, subscribers and uh, all, all my brothers and sisters in the Lord. This is Daryl Rundus, founder and president of Prayer Stop. And today I just want to do a quick commentary on our page and just some of the comments that we get. I mean, uh, honestly, we endeavor to do God's will each and every day. We're faithfully here posting things that we believe will lead people closer to the Lord, uh, cause them to pick up and open up and start to read and study scripture and sometimes I mean we're only human we make mistakes and uh, we're not perfect uh, but uh, you know being human sometimes sometimes it does get to you when you see comments on your page where we posted uh, yesterday a an apology uh, you know, humbly admitting that the post we said that the Bible's filled with mistakes, we should have better clarified, uh, you know, what, what we meant by that. And, and we tried to do that, but uh, evidently a lot of people, you know, will, and, and it's kind of ironic, they'll be the ones, don't you dare judge, you're not supposed to judge, and yet they'll judge you while telling you not to judge. And yet they probably never even read uh, or even in this case, listen to our apology about the post and how we should have better clarified the fact that we weren't saying the Bible is filled with mistakes made by God, um, but that it's filled with stories of mistakes made by people all throughout history. The first being, of course, probably the biggest mistake in world history when Adam and Eve uh, disobeyed God and didn't uh, do what he commanded them to do, and they ate from the tree of knowledge and good and evil. But you know, when you see things like from Roshana here that says, uh, in fact, let me just increase the uh, text size a little bit for you so you guys can see it a little better. But, um, you know, uh, kind of hacking on us, talking about how the Bible's not filled with mistakes. In fact, the first few posts right here was, my Bible's not filled with mistakes, you know, exclamation mark. So uh, what and where in the Bible, at least this person sought first to understand before trying to be understood. So... Um, uh, you know, please, once again, before you go jumping on somebody, especially a ministry who has faithfully for years done, you know, given of their time, their talent, their money. I mean, we don't solicit donations. We don't try to get money from other people. In fact, my wife and I pour all our uh, money that we've made over the years to this ministry to reach in people. And so, you know, you get people saying you mislead people, you know, uh, I guess maybe she's referring to our name Prayer Stopper. Why do we need to Google your name? Please kindly change your name. Something that will bring glory and praises to God. So let me let you in for those that are interested in why the name of our ministry is Prayer Stop. Um, we don't think that misleads people. Um, in fact, no more than GameStop misleads people. I mean, it is GameStop trying to stop games? How about bus stops? Maybe a bus stop is against buses or a gas stop is against gas or what have you so um but more importantly we use the name god gave us uh we were searching for a name for the ministry for many 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 days and in prayer faithfully and fasting for what god wanted us to call our ministry and believe it or not uh one night around seven o'clock it just hit me you know prayer stop so i ran to godaddy and uh google you know typed in the name and uh you know, sure enough, prayerstop.org was available, so I saved it. And the next morning, my general manager called me up and said, Boss, I think uh, I think I got the name. And I was like, really? I think I do, too, because last night around 7, he's like, yeah, me, too. Around 7 o'clock, I was praying right after dinner, and, man, this name just hit me. And, and he said, what's the name that you came up with? And I said, well, I liked it so much, I actually reserved the name at GoDaddy, so I got proof that that's the name God gave me last night. Uh, so you give me the name he gave you, and if it's the same, we'll know this is of God. And sure enough, he says, prayer stop. And so, you know, obviously God not only put that on our heart, but he confirmed it through another person that that was the name we were to use. And so uh, I don't think we mislead people. Um, and sadly, this person who I said, hey, just Google our name or Google, you know, go take a look at what our ministry does because she's making all kinds of accusations here about us. Uh, let's see, here we are, girly. Uh, if you were not born again in the spirit to commune with God, then you'll never understand fully the Bible. If you take them all literally, you'll be misled. And then later, she says, your sight is very misleading. 
do you think of something that can uplift the spiritual level of true Christianity? Well, obviously, this girly, Vili, I can't even pronounce her last name, please forgive me, knows nothing about us, knows nothing about our ministry. She knows nothing of the time and energy and effort and money that we've poured in. And I'm not trying to trumpet our good deeds, because what we do, we do in silence and we do in private. Um, but we're here, faithfully, day in and day out, praying for, ministering to people, um, you know, given of our time, given of our talent, doing far more than most any Christians we know, uh, especially ones like this who love to evidently get on Facebook and preach to people, uh, telling them how wrong and bad they are without knowing anything about them. So uh, we would just ask you to, you know, tame your tongue. You know, it's it's good to be seasoned with salt, but you need to be filled with grace according to God's word. And, uh, you know, judge not lest you be judged. Which, by the way, is probably the most, un, uh, you know, uh, most immature Christians will probably be the, the scripture they quote the most is, Judge not, least you be judged. Judge, Christians aren't to judge, which is just a ridiculous. Jesus never said don't judge. He said when you judge, judge righteously. And so, I mean, as Christians, we are to judge. We have to judge good versus evil, right versus wrong, sin versus not sin. I mean, how can we share the gospel with someone if we never judge whether they're saved or whether they're not saved? So, um, you know, all too often we get these kind of comments from people. And, you know, forgive me, um, you know, I'm just kind of getting to a place where I think it's time to take a stand and start to talk to some of these people. So this is kind of aimed towards those people who are making comments that they evidently know nothing about us or our ministry or what we do, how long we've been doing it, how committed we are to Christ, how we've forsaken the world and everything in it to take up our cross, deny ourselves, and to follow him daily. So we hope and pray you're encouraged by our site. We hope and pray you're encouraged by our, you know, our, our question of the day or our did you know post, our prayer every single night. Um, evidently, once again, there's just a lot of people out there, and we know, believe me, and we thank God for those that give us encouraging comments as well uh, because, you know, even the youth grow weary, and sometimes, you know, you get a little discouraged by the, the devil constantly, relentlessly, attacking and of course there's nothing he hates more than God but beyond that he hates Christians who are bold in their witness humble in their heart and are having an impact for Christ so please once again uh, before you comment on our post make sure you first seek to understand rather than trying to be understood pulling out a word or sister in the Lord and trying to correct them or rebuke them or make comments about how unbiblical or how deceptive their name is, um, you know, investigate the matter. Make sure you know what you're talking about, lest you end up looking like a fool. Um, we thank God for you. Thanks for participating in our page. And we once again hope and pray it's not only a blessing to you, but that it honors God with what we think and do and all the things we post. God bless you guys. Have a great day.